Now at five, evidence and statements unlawfully obtained. That is the claim being made by Michelle Traconis's attorney, and he wants them thrown out of the upcoming trial of Fotis Dulos's former girlfriend. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane was in court today and is live now with the details. Matt. Well, Aaron, this hearing on those two motions expected to last through Friday. Michelle Traconis's attorney, he claims that his client's constitutional rights were violated. Now, it will be up to a judge to make a decision. With Michelle Traconis's upcoming trial just four weeks out, her attorney is trying to get any evidence found on her cell phone and any statements she made to police thrown out. In the absence of a warrant, you can't just grab people's phones because it might be, quote, helpful, unquote, to an investigation. State police took Michelle Traconis's cell phone back on May 31st, 2019 without a warrant. Prosecutors arguing immediate action was needed as she was now a focal point of the investigation and to prevent any data from potentially being erased. That cell phone on May 31st uh, contained evidence of the crime relating to the disappearance and murder of Jennifer Dulos. Traconis is charged with conspiracy to commit murder, tampering with evidence, and hindering prosecution in connection to the May 2019 disappearance of Jennifer Farber Dulos. The day of the disappearance, police say Traconis and her then boyfriend and Farber Dulos' estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, could be seen on video in Hartford throwing out garbage bags allegedly containing evidence. In January of 2020, Dulos was charged with murder. But he killed himself before going to trial. Living with someone does not make you guilty of any kind of a crime, not as an accessory and not as a co-conspirator. Then there is the issue of statements Traconis made to state police in four separate videos while being questioned. Her attorney argues she had already asserted her right to counsel. But police and prosecutors say the video and statements are important, claiming Traconis wasn't truthful when asked about Fotis Doulos' whereabouts the day of Jennifer's disappearance. She denied that she ever lied whether she was in error, whether it was language related, you will see there's words she doesn't understand. They keep cutting her off. Again, now this hearing is expected to last through the week here. As for the trial, it will begin in January. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Stamford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.